you previous video in which we re-indexed a or tables in a database using a loop this method that we're going to do today is a lot faster and a lot more accurate now the re-indexing a or tables in a database that is very useful but starts running into a few problems the the code that I designed when you have multiple columns on um, when you have multiple columns on a table and that you will have now you'll notice that if you were to look back at that video it'll have alter index index name on table schema on table name so columns aren't a part of that and it'll still re rebuild the index um, but I noticed that when there were several columns that had indexes on it like for instance one index was covering multiple columns that there would be some some duplicates there well one of the ways to solve that is um, we can use the command spms for each table that you can see right here and so what this will do is it will for every table in a database it will execute a command which you see right here the alter index on this question mark is the index name table schema and table name um, in fact if you look at the code that we designed for the while loop back at that other video that's what you see alter index and there was the index name on the table schema the table name the question mark is replaces all of that and we have the same exact code as far as what we're allowing and what we're not allowing uh, when we execute this and you'll see that and this like I said is the fastest method uh, for indexing a table um, that for each table in the database we can alter the index um, on um, each table. You'll also notice that unlike the rebuild index um, table that we built on the other code in the loop that this is just one line of code whereas the other was several lines of code. Now that's not to say that in fact I did test these two together as far as um, uh, rebuilding indexes and this is only slightly faster uh, but this this is something that you can consider this store procedure here which is a, a system store procedure is very useful anytime you need to do a command um, for each table and mm, hold on one second and you can see this is the uh, values that it takes in so for each table you can put a command whatever that command is again whether it's rebuilding an index or checking for various things for every table in that database you can execute that command so now you could easily build a while loop for each um, database then for each table in the database alter the index rebuild the index